Tanya really needs their support. Graham. Now, why don't you choose before Brenda gets back from the loo? Cake. Sure. Or, instead of that cake, I'll let you switch on the Christmas lights tonight. Me? Why? Because your grandma has spent a huge wad of cash sponsoring the most spectacular light display this village has ever seen. And I can turn the lights on? If you forego cake for breakfast. Both. Neither? I'll take the lights. <laughs> right, Brenda's taking too long. I think I'll hold off on the coffee. How will you cope? I'm very determined when I have to be. Right, race you to the car. We had a deal. What deal? Graham, talk to me. Staying silent isn't enough for Kim. She wants me to move away and never see Millie again. I can't do that. I should have told you yesterday when you asked if Kim was threatening. You knew then? No, not really. She promised not to fight the divorce and give me half of everything if I kept quiet about Millie and left for good. I thought you weren't after any money. I wasn't, until it was offered up on a plane. I told her she had a deal, gave her my word. I thought it'd be easy to uh, stay clear from this place and just move to another village nearby. See if you, if you wanted to come too. I mean, I know it's still sort of new, but... Well, it doesn't feel new. It feels right. You could keep on working here. Nothing much would change except where we lived and our bank account. And I'd never have anything to do with Kim again. Hmm. Perfect. Right. What went wrong? Millie. You saw her? At the playground. I tried to walk away. But then she grabbed my hand and I knew. I knew I couldn't let go. If she's yours. She has to be, doesn't she? Why else would Andrea avoid finding out all these years? I need to find out if she's mine. The solicitor said... Wait, hang on. You've seen a solicitor, yet you're only telling me now. I never want to keep anything from you, but I needed to get my head around it before I involved you. OK. What did the solicitor say? I need to get DNA proof before anything else. Are you really doing this? I wasn't looking to have a child. But I can't turn my back on one. Graham. <sighs> Please don't hate me. I don't. I couldn't. But I have to know about Millie. Of course you do. But earlier... Well, I just feel for Jamie and Andrea, you know, what's coming. But that doesn't change what you have to do. I have to know. But the longer you leave it, the worse it will be for everyone. So find out if Millie's yours. But find out fast. Don't in five, Leo, OK? Yeah. So you're going to need Millie's DNA for this test, right? How are you going to get it? Uh, I'm not going to like this, am I? Jamie trusts you, adores you, even. He'll let you near Millie. <sighs> he won't think twice. Jamie's my mate. I know, and I'm desperate and out of ideas. Graham, your ex-army, I am just a vet. It's so unfair of you to put that on me. Mom! Yep, yeah, coming, Leo. Please, just think about it. I wouldn't ask if I had another way. You're the best chance I have to prove she's my daughter. Mum! Yes, coming, coming. Right, we need to go, otherwise we're going to miss the lights. Can't do this to Jamie. He's like you said, he trusts me. It's bad enough knowing what might be coming his way, but to lie to him, to steal his DNA? No. I'm not going to do it. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm not. 
I shouldn't have put you in such an impossible situation. No, you shouldn't. I understand your desperation. I just, I can't get involved. What will you do? Figure it out. Like you said, needs doing sooner rather than later. 